Hmm. I gotta wonder. Is the Louder with Crowder Bit Shoot channel a pirate channel? <laughs> Hello, Catholic Controversy here, and if you don't know, BitChute is a free speech YouTube alternative. It doesn't have the same high community standards that YouTube has where people get censored for having the wrong opinion and whatnot, and it's attracted a lot of people such as Sargon of Akkad and Lauren Southerns and Sticks and Hammer and uh, Competing Forever and a bunch of other people. I'm even on it. I upload my Pokematic videos on there as well. And, you know, you dual upload there, so if your video gets taken down on YouTube, you can up... It's right there on BitChute for your fans to find. And Steven Crowder, he's on BitChute too. So I think. <laughs> I mean, it would make sense that he would be on BitChute. I mean, he has the same alternative opinion that a lot of these other guys that are on there. He's a prime target for YouTube censorship, and... BitChute doesn't have the same YouTube censorship. It's free speech. You can say whatever you want so long as it's legal. And he's even admitted to knowing about it in his YouTube Carol video. So, you know, let's apply Occam's Razor here. You got these videos that are uploaded like, and live within an hour or so of them being uploaded on YouTube by a guy that knows about the platform. <laughs> and it's a bastion of free speech where everyone can do it. So, um, is it uploaded by a very, very, very dedicated pirate that's going to steal his content immediately right when it gets uploaded to YouTube and then upload straight to BitChute without any complications? Or is it run by the Steven Crowder team? You know, simplest solution probably is the correct one. So it makes a lot of sense that this would be run by Steven Crowder. However, uh... Recent events make me kind of question that. So, one of Steven Crowder's videos, the Sven Computer Crashes South by Southwest, it got taken down by YouTube. Not once, but twice. It was also uploaded to BitChute. Not once, but twice. That's weird. Normally when you dual upload to a platform, you only do it once. <laughs> I mean, I've only done that to Daily Motion and sometimes BitChute or whatever. I know Sargon of Akkad and Computing Forever, they only upload once to BitChute. They don't upload the same video twice to BitChute. So uh, that's, uh, that's a little strange. But, you know, let's, uh, let's think about this. You know, maybe Steven Crowder has some sort of dual uploading program that someone wrote where... You just gotta upload it and it'll immediately upload it both to YouTube and BitChute or whatever your platform is. So maybe he's doing one of those and when he uploaded it again to YouTube, he accidentally uploaded it again to BitChute. Who knows? It could happen. Uh, but then when he made a video talking about how it got taken down by YouTube, he didn't even acknowledge the existence of BitChute. Okay. What is the point of having a backup platform if you're not going to acknowledge it when that happens? When you need to acknowledge the backup platform. When my Watch Teen Titans Go video on Cartoon Network got taken down by YouTube and I made a video about it, I said, you know, you can still watch it below at Vidme. And even though Vidme is gone, you can still watch it below at Daily Motion. I think it's on Daily Motion. Maybe it's on Tune. I don't remember where exactly I upload it, but I upload it somewhere. It's available to watch. Steven, on the other hand, he said that he doesn't have any other platform besides YouTube. Uh, that's a lie if he is uploading to BitChute. If he's also uploading to BitChute, he would probably be telling people to go watch it on BitChute if they really want to watch it. <laughs> and support the alternative free speech platform that is BitChute, in much the same way that guys like Computing Forever have done. But he didn't. Okay, let's, let's walk this through. Maybe, just maybe, because BitChute doesn't have a monetization option that he only wants to focus on Mug Club with CRTV and YouTube where he can actually make money on the content. And he just wants to keep BitChute in a nice sleeper cell where it's there 
if he needs it, and he'll use it very, very sparingly. And it's really kind of only something that's sort of super secret. <laughs> but then we get to the website. And the Ladder with Crowder website, he has all the videos that he's made easily findable right there with their own page, much the same way that a lot of people have on their websites. And he has the YouTube embed where, okay, here's the description, you can watch the video below here. And it's the gray, this video no, does not longer exist. And they're leaving it at that. And they say, we know that YouTube took this down. We're just going to leave this up here as a monument to YouTube taking it down. You know, in situations like this, on an embedded platform where you can watch the videos that people who are really, really out there and really dedicated can find your content, why wouldn't you be embedding it? BitChute has an embed feature from what I can tell. I've not really tried it yet, but I'm pretty sure it has it. I see the little share things. And if not, you can always say, here, check out the link right here where you can watch the video. But they don't. The one time that would be completely perfectly appropriate to upload it and show the world and at least acknowledge BitChute's existence, you don't. So let's apply Occam's Razor again. Either Steven Crowder is uploading the content to a platform that he doesn't want people to know that he's uploading to and really does not want people to even acknowledge it, even when the video gets taken down and cannot be watched on YouTube. He will not even then acknowledge the existence of the channel, or it's a pirate channel that is not official. It's conflicting Occam's razors, which is correct. There's compelling arguments and evidence for it being an official channel, and there's compelling arguments and evidence for it not being an official channel. And Steven Crowder hasn't said anything on the matter. No one at Team Crowder has said anything on the matter. So I gotta wonder, is this an official channel? This has been Cat the Controversy, signing off. May God bless you.